Friends and colleagues, I'm Dr. Zhang Qian, vascular surgeon from Dr. Smile Medical Group, China. POCAS has traditionally been used for puncture guiding or bedside diagnosis in China for many years. New scenarios for POCAS have emerged with the introduction of the Chiwa technique for varicose veins in the past five years. Varicose veins is one of the most popular vascular conditions of human beings. The incidence of varicose veins accounts for about 10% of the population in China. Varicose veins are mostly asymptomatic, but with the progression of the disease, symptoms such as low extremity swelling and heaviness may occur. Complications include stasis dermatitis, thrombosis, and ulceration. Conservative treatments for varicose veins include elastic compression and medication. For decades, sclerotherapy, saphenous vein stripping were the classic methods of treating varicose veins in China. In the past 20 years, endovenous thermal ablation, including laser and radiofrequency, has gradually replaced vein stripping in clinical practice. However, the above method are all destructive treatment with high recurrent rate and complications. Chiwa is an office-based treatment for varicose veins performed under local anesthesia. The aim of the technique is to lower transmural pressure without destroying the veins. Eighty years ago, I started Dr. Smile Medic Group, which is the first doctor group in China. Right now, we provide services in 10 cities and treat thousands of varicose vein patients each year. Three years ago, we applied to launch a national continuing medical education program for venous disease. Let me go through the therapeutic techniques that we have employed at different stages in the past. We have always been the pioneer in the field of diagnosis and the treatment of varicose veins in China. We performed the first steps in Asia, the first application of radiofrequency ablation in China. In 2017, we, complete, we completely replaced traditional disruptive therapy with Chiwa, in which POCAS plays an important role in the development of treatment strategies. Chiva is the French acronym for conservative and hemodynamic treatment of venous insufficiency in the office. It is a vein sparing therapy to treat varicose veins based on hemodynamic concepts proposed by Claude Franceschi in 1988. The main advantages of Chiva are preservation of the saphenous vein, local anesthesia, low recurrent rates, low cost, less pain, and no nerve damage. The major disadvantages are the learning curve and the need to train the team in venous hemodynamics. Different from the traditional treatments of varicose veins, the concept of Chiva is to precisely deal with the source of venous hypertension according to the results of hemodynamic assessment. Doppler ultrasound can be used to identify the escape point which causing venous hypertension and the re-entry point which ensure adequate venous drainage back to the, the venous system. In the outpatient setting, our physician can use ultrasound with special techniques to identify escape points and re-entry points. The test was performed in the standing position the assessment include compression release tests, Valsava and the Plana maneuvers. Let's take a close look at each one. So the first, the escape point refers to a site where blood is returned from the deep vein to the superficial vein, or from the saphenous vein to the subcutaneous vein. Uncommonly, escape point came from the pelvis. 
escape point can be detected by Doppler ultrasound combined with a series of tests. On the contrary, the re-entry point was defined at the point through which the blood returns from the superficial to the deep vein. The strategy uses ligatures targeted to interrupt escape points and fractionate hydrostatic pressure. The number and the position of these ligatures depends on duplex scan findings and every operation is tailored to each patient's reflux pattern. The procedure is performed under local anesthesia and can be conducted in the office with immediate patient discharge. All veins are preserved and returned to their normal size in a few months after the hemodynamic result is achieved. The outpatient application of POCAS has changed our understanding and the perception of varicose veins, and also changed the way to treat. From destroying veins in the past to nowadays preserving veins, better outcomes can be achieved. Chiwa preserves the saphenous vein which can be used for vascular bypass and keeps the drainage function of the venous networks of the lower extremities. Patients return to daily life after operation quickly. Other advantages include less hematoma and rare nerve injury and office-based. Key point is the operation can be performed under local anesthesia so could be done on office-based. Now the future direction of POCAS is really fascinating. With a continuous improvement of ultrasound technology in the future, POCAS will be more widely used. Remote and robotic technologies can promote the home use of POCAS, and HIFO technology combined with POCAS is an area of ongoing research. In conclusion, with more and more physicians get trained to familiar with Doppler ultrasound, Chiwa would be the new option for treatment of varicose veins to achieve safety and feasibility. POCAS will play a great role in hemodynamic assessment, which is essential for Chiwa strategy. If anyone is interested in Chiwa or our practice, please email me. Thank you for your attention.